Unfortunately, I've had to completely start again with this, but no fear, it's almost finished. So this was the new pump. It was cheap. The end was threaded. And I thought this would work really well. And it did. But I noticed from unpacking it immediately that it wasn't smooth inside the gears in there. They don't mesh very smoothly at all. And I thought, see I can't even turn that. I thought that noise would quiet when it had oil going through it. But it didn't really. So I did buy a used pump because I wanted the pickup pipe that you don't get with a new pump. So I bought this one on eBay for £10 just for this pickup pipe that I then butchered up. But spinning that by hand, it was silent. Didn't make any noise, didn't feel notchy, didn't feel anything like this new pump. It just gets stuck and, you know, and that's how it was from getting it out of the box. So I just rebuilt the whole thing using this new old pump. Um, pretty simple, had to modify it a little bit because that didn't have a, a drilled shaft. But anyway, so I rebuilt the whole thing, made it a lot more sturdier, much improved. With each little modification I make to this, it does get better every time. As you'll see when I insert the clip, it's been gusseted. So now, you can't move it left and right. It's solid now in there. That's nice. Um, tension is kept by these elastic bands still at the minute, but there's nothing. I'll change that for a, a decent bit of something at some point. So we've now got tension on there that, that stays relative and does not move under there but all the movement is this side got a little slidey thing on there that allows that to slide on there to keep this correlation correct and on the pivot side there's a nylon nut so that it can pivot on there yeah and that I've had to sacrifice a 19 mil socket as well well obviously at some point I'll change this for one piece of something but for now it's all good so we've got a couple of those in there. Just take a little bit of the noise out of the oil pump box. This is the first time it's all sort of kind of been together. And I almost cut this off and moved it way that way. It's good if I didn't because it'd be right in the way of the exhaust. So that works. Just gonna work out where to put the remote oil filter in. So we've got power cable. It's fused at the battery end. Uh, to run our motor. We've got a neat little fuse box and some fuses and a relay holder and 
try and take a feed from the fuel pump. So yeah, yeah this is the basic gist of it. So all the pre-turbo pipe work is new and uh, the exhaust diverter is new and all the rest of the pipe work is used uh, kicking around. So I've just given this a, a good clean up and a quick going over with some VHT high temperature paint. My welding's not great at all, but you know, it does the job, <laughs> kinda. So I've gone over this with some black got it on everything else motor turns gear turns chain turns other gear turns pump pump pumps oil through this pipe a little bit on the long side perhaps filter housing I know this is all wrong, but it works. It goes in there, comes out there. Should go in there and come out there. And those should be, well, I could have used the oil temperature and oil pressure. But this is an M16 by 1.5 mil thread. And I've been buying loads of AN fittings, so nothing fits in there. So this is AN10 into AN4. Now this is AN10 that I've drilled and threaded and stuck a 12 mil bolt inside this. It shouldn't leak, let's hope. But it's blocked off. I'll take it off. I'll show you. I threaded this fit in. I uh, put a load of PTFE on a 12mm bolt and I drove that bolt into there and it was a, a shouldered bolt so it, it bottomed out and then I tightened it up some more and then I cut the head off and now that's in there. This is obviously until I can get a correct fit in for this and run it properly but for now obviously it's got to go in that way around but for now this is the only way I can filter the oil right now. Uh, I will change it so it feeds from this and comes out of here like it should when I can find uh, a 16 by 1.5 mil to a, a barb fit in so that I can feed it from there into there. But this will work for now to get the thing started and running. So I'm going to make that look a little bit more pretty now. Very rudimentary gauge setup. Obviously, that starts at 40 degrees. Okay, we're ready for a test run. I have checked it loosely, just holding the turbo. But this is me gonna do a flow test to see what we're getting 
through this. Just holding the turbo into a bucket. I'm getting between 23 and 29 PSI, which is about what I'm after. That's on full speed um, through the motor and the pump. No restriction through the oil filter housing at all. I was really surprised. And there is no restrictor in the turbo. Yes, this is a chair. <laughs> but it works. So I'm just going to put a jug under there, a measuring jug. I'm going to fire the motor up for 30 seconds and see what kind of flow we get. So after rigorous testing, it turns out this pump can flow uh, with this motor about 12 litres an hour. And that should be plenty for this. So let's give it a shot. Okay, it's time to connect some cables and wires. I've fed the um, wideband sensor cable through there and the sensor wires for the gauges through there. I'm now going to take a feed from the fuel pump positive side and feed that to the relay for the motor. This is just mounted there very loosely. Ignore that rust, it's... I've had a leak inside. Through there, all down there, that's why the grommet's out at the bottom of that to let the water out. Uh, okay, so it's the, the green wire there is the fuel pump, which is on the other side of the tank, so luckily it's nice that it's this side. So I'm gonna tap into that in that lot somewhere. Okay, so that's that tapped in. Jobs are good. This is our takeoff for the relay. So this is the first start, and it immediately the oil pressure jumps from the 29 to 30 I was getting. 65. I'm not sure how or why, but it's different now it's running than from when it's not running. If I'd have had access to a lathe, that gear on the top of the motor would have been perfectly centered. But I can't do much about that, but it works, so it'll do for now. But it doesn't smoke, well, it did a little bit initially, but it doesn't smoke, it's getting oil, it's returning oil, it's working, and it's quiet. I was a bit concerned that I couldn't visually see uh, the compressor wheel, so I put a mirror there. And I moved the gauges to inside the car, ready for a road test. 65 PSI. It's cold. Check this out though. Sounds pretty sweet though, doesn't it? So it's dark. I'm just giving it a quick run. 
papers to see what's what. I've got me loud exhaust sort of there for now. I ain't got a tailpipe on it yet. But yeah. The good news is, after it's warmed up a little bit, after maybe two, three, four minutes, the oil pressure drops to a reasonable amount. Still got a lot of tidying up to do. A lot of tidying up to do. But, you know, just in case you wondered. There is the boot floor. So, maybe I can put that in. Loud mode engaged. I've just pulled the loud section of the exhaust off from the back of the turbo. I just wanted to clean it up a bit because it was starting to rust in a couple of places because it's uh, cheap. And um, yeah, just going to clean it up, give it a quick paint with some VHT, and then I'm going to wrap it. This is the mess that the car's in at the minute inside. That's just a, a boost reference directly from the turbo for now to this gauge um, everything's out everything's a mess but this is just obviously so I can get the thing to work I'll be putting those gauges on there somewhere I hate that stuff it's horrible but that's on getting a lot of comments about the close proximity of the fuel tank to the hot stuff um, it's not gonna stay like this it's all gonna get boxed in especially around the back and there is like a uh, piece of trim that goes in there anyway so but it will it will it's a work in progress and it's not gonna be done immediately is it it's gonna take a while just got to get the thing to work first and then I can start sort of you know, working out what's what. So the next video we'll be making the cold side up and all this lot. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that all that business because you know it makes me feel good.